What's the gadget you set over here? Ooh, I'm glad you're interested. Uh, these here are my LEDs, my buttons, my resistors, and my breadboard. I use them in my physical computing projects. They look cool, but a bit confusing. Nah, they're super easy and super useful once you know what to do with them. Firstly, we have the LED. LED stands for light emitting diode. The light emitting part is obvious. It emits light when current is passed through. The diode bit means it only lets electricity flow through in one direction. This means if you want to connect an LED to light up, you have to put a positive voltage to the positive end, which is the one with the longer leg, and connect the shorter leg to ground. Connect it the other way around and it won't light up. You have to be careful though. If we let too much current flow through an LED, it might blow. No, that doesn't sound great. Is there anything we can do to avoid this? That's where resistors come in. Unlike wires, which let current through quickly and freely, resistors do what you'd imagine. They resist electrical current. This means you can use them to limit the current going through your LED to prevent them from blowing up. Next, we have buttons. I'm impressed. They're pretty simple. While not pressed, the current can't flow through. While pressed, you complete the circuit and the current can flow. So that's LEDs, resistors, and buttons come. Well, what about breadboards? Breadboards are great. They either connect, disconnect, and reconnect components to your heart's content. They're covered with these little holes into which you can plug your components. When you plug things into a breadboard, everything in the same row will be connected. So if you want to connect an LED to a battery, put the positive end of your diode and the positive end of the battery in the same row, and the negative end of the battery and the negative end of the diode in the same row. So what can you really do with these bits? You mean with buttons? Yeah. And LEDs? Yeah. Not much.